there is this guy. His friends call him Adolf. He told me that losing religious beliefs can be a very painful thing. So I thought I'll... Uh, So here is few words on losing religious beliefs. Now you might ask yourself, why would I trust an absolute stranger with the advice of this sort? Here's why. Let me put the new optics on. And voila, what do you think? More trustworthy already. You find yourself disillusioned with the religion you grew up with. The seed of the doubt grew over the years and then once you accepted the possibility that there is no, there has been no God, the universe came down crashing on you. Maybe you wake up in a, in a dark hour, gripped by fear that nothing has meaning any longer, the life is pointless and the death is ultimate end of things. To you I say, hold on until dawn. It is easier to see in a daylight that the meaning you derive the, the true meaning that we derive is from the people around you. Your partner, your wife, your husband, parents, family, children. The emotion, the feelings, the memories of shared moments. This is what gives meaning to life. Not the present ever absent God. This is probably the most important piece of advice. Step back for just a moment. Give yourself some space. Move away for some time if you can. Admit that you don't have all the answers. And it's okay. Nobody does. Nobody. Find new optics to view the world. New toolkit to build your worldview with. If you want to figure out big questions of universe, life and everything else, you will have to start closer to home. Find out more about yourself. About humans in general. Learn some biology and psychology. It would also help if you find out some facts about this patch of universe that we find ourselves in. Acquire opinions and have them for good reasons. Understand those reasons. Understand the reasons why you have those opinions. And when one or all of those reasons are shown to be wrong, then change your opinion. It's easier to change your opinion than to change yourself, I guess. If it's truth that you are after, that there are some hard facts to accept. With God packed away in the attic, there goes your soul and eternal life. But hey, so does hell. And this is a massive bonus. No more trait of eternal, eternity of suffering. Now, once you've put supernatural out of the picture, there are some miracles to be discovered. Let me give you one. You are made out of stars. Yes. This beautiful body of yours is made out of atoms of elements that were created, that were produced, manufactured inside the stars. This huge balls of hydrogen and helium producing their atomic furnaces or other elements that go into making planets, moons, asteroids, rocks, Oceans, plants and animals, human animal included. How is that for a miracle? There are things in this world that you can change. Or have some influence on. It is in principle. But there are also things that you can do nothing about. Completely beyond your control. And it seems wise to accept them for what they are. After all, it makes little sense to struggle against something that is completely beyond your control. Now, if religion left a mark on you, something you're um, finding difficult to shrug off, it can feel very lonely when it seems like you are alone against all, but you are not alone. There are other people like yourself, people with doubts, people asking questions, and, um, and questioning their beliefs led them to abandon the religion altogether and adopt different point of views. Well, you know what they say, atheism is not for everyone. You have to work hard to become an atheist. You are not alone. 
send me an email if you like, if you'd like to share your story. Like perhaps put you in touch with Adolf, he is happy to share his story too. You are not alone.